Hi everybody, today we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to create an ensemble between two Netgear ProSafe WAC720 wireless access points. I want to also point out that all the steps in this video will also apply to WAC730 APs as well. Ensemble is a new feature in our WAC720 and WAC730 wireless AC access points. Ensemble management allows you to log on to one access point and create a configuration that can be automatically applied to up to 10 APs. This allows users to expand their wireless networks without the need to purchase a separate wireless controller. For this demo, I'll be creating an ensemble and then creating a wireless network between two APs. In our demo, the network topology will be as follows. AP1 and AP2 will be in the same ensemble and have a management IP address of 192.168.1.99. Although we can still go into the management IP of each ensemble member, giving every member the same ensemble IP address will provide you with a single IP address in which to manage your ensemble regardless of which member is selected as the master. First, let's configure AP1. Go to the Configuration Ensemble page. For Ensemble Mode, select Start. For Ensemble Name, enter a name for your ensemble. The ensemble name is what joins all the members of the ensemble. For every AP in the same ensemble must have the same ensemble name. For AP name, uh, give your AP a descriptive name. Uh, this step is optional. As for priority, enter a number. The priority number is used to determine which AP is the master. The higher the number, the higher the priority. In our example, we'll give it 10. Once we're done here, click Apply. Next, we'll go to the Ensemble Management page. Here, we'll give our ensemble a management IP address. and click apply. Next go to secured ensemble. Securing the ensemble is an important step to prevent unwanted APs from joining your ensemble. So uh, for secured mode click enabled and then we want to give it a secure passphrase. The reauthentication timeout value can be left at default. Once we're done, click Apply. Next, what we're going to do is enable auto channel assignment for the ensemble. This will allow the ensemble to automatically adjust the channels used by the ensemble member APs according to real-time RF conditions. Simply click on Start. Once this is done, we'll log into AP2. and we'll repeat the steps taken previously. Again, be sure to use the same ensemble name as the one we used in AP1. And for this one, we'll assign it a lower priority than AP1 and we'll give it a number 
9, click apply. Go to management. Although not required, a best practice is to give every member of the ensemble the same ensemble management IP address. This way, if the current ensemble master is removed from the ensemble, you'll still be able to manage the ensemble from the same ensemble management IP address. Moving on to secured ensemble, be sure to enter the same passphrase we used in AP1. Otherwise, AP2 will not be able to join the ensemble since we password protected it. So we're going to enable secured mode. Once you hit apply, the two APs will effectively form an ensemble. Now, let us access the ensemble management from its management IP address. As you can see, both APs now show up in the Ensemble dashboard. Now that we've created an Ensemble, let's create a wireless network on the Ensemble. Go to Configuration and then Security. For this, we'll edit the default profile on the 5 gigahertz band. We'll enter in our settings. And click apply. And that's it. In a few short minutes, we've created an ensemble and expanded our wireless network to include two access points. To add more APs to the ensemble, simply repeat the steps we did earlier. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.